Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week, Microsoft rolled out Edge version 108, as I did post on. And um, one of the new features, which I did touch on briefly when I did post that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, was the ability now to enable the forward button. Now, the forward button, just, just to do a quick recap in case you're unaware, was removed from the navigation bar here in the top left of the browser in a previous version of Edge. And um, it only appears when there is a forward button now by default to go forward to. So as you can see, only appears that forward button, that navigation arrow to go forward only appears when there is a website to go forward to. Now in Edge version 108, um, Microsoft did include now a new option to permanently enable the forward button. And as mentioned, I did touch on this briefly, but I thought I'd just do this more in-depth video um, just to show you in case you're unaware, because it is a useful feature. And there were a lot of comments on the channel when Microsoft did originally remove the button um, that a whole lot of users did want it back. So just in case you're unaware, just to show you how to re-enable that. Now, if we head to the, uh, the menu in the top right, head over to settings and then navigate to appearance. Here on the appearance page, um, is the forward button and it says the forward button auto appears in the toolbar when it's possible to go forward as I did um, just now demonstrate earlier on. Now that's the default setting show automatically. Now there is a new setting to always show so if you click on that you will see now that the forward button although it's grayed out now appears automatically in that um, in the navigation bar and is a handy option and that's how I like to leave it because I like to see that forward button and if you go back um, it's there to go forward to and if there's no web page to go forward to it's still displayed but obviously grayed out so that's just a quick way and um, in case you missed that little uh, point I did mention in that Edge version 108 video that's just a quick way how you can re-enable the forward button by just heading over to the drop down menu always show and that now re-enables and displays the forward button now by default by enabling that option in Edge version 108 which is the latest stable release for desktop so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one